All right, guys, here's my quick little tie-in video. I'm going to tie this one fast so you get the point, but I'm just going to use some chartreuse thread. I'm going to start with some wraps right there, halfway at the hook shank, work my way to the back, cut that excess off, and then I got a nice little bundle of uh, white fibers here that I took out. I just take a small little bunch of them, and I always start the first one at the top of the hook shank. So I'll get about the halfway point on my fibers, top of the hook shank, make sure that the fibers stay on the top. Bring this, you got that, bring this back, wrap onto them a little bit, come forward a good eighth of an inch from the front of that fibers, then grab another little bunch. And usually when I do the bottom, I'll spin this around and I'll go on the sides of the hook shank instead of directly on the top and bottom. Same thing, tighten one in, keep it to the side. If you got to, you can pull it back over like this, get a nice tight wrap, bring that side of the hook shank, pull them down, a couple wraps on them to keep them in place and then move forward again. Probably another eighth or so in front of those fibers. This is just real quick that I'm doing this here. It'll still fish, still catch peacocks. Uh, then I'll do another one on the top, one tight one to get it in, two or two, keep it centered on the top, a few wraps backwards, get it locked down, same thing, move a little bit, an eighth or so in front of where you left off on the last one, so you have room to go back over it uh, and lock them in place where exactly where you want them. And then just keep doing the same pattern, I'll, I'll go, you know, these little, little amounts, either side lock it in place on that side make sure it's pulled to that side of it go here come on this side lock them in pull them where I want them move back forward then when I get near the front right here now oh, this ain't far enough yet <clears throat> do one more on the top straight on the top there wrap them make sure they stay right up top in the middle one or two wraps, pull it backwards, get one or two wraps on them to keep them in place. And then when I get right up to the top here, that's when I tie in my eyes. The, this one I'm gonna use some yellow dumbbell eyes. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, put them right on the top of the hook shank. A couple wraps to get them there. Make sure they're straight, wrap around this side. They're kinda crooked. I'm just trying to tie this one fast as I can. Tighten them right down. I'll always look at the front of the fly just to make sure they're straight and square. Then I'll start doing the loops this way. Get a bunch of them in there. And then a couple up near the front. A couple wraps back here. Then I'll do a whip finish. Tighten that baby down. Clip it off. Then I got the solar resin. I use the big bottle so it's easier for me. So I'll go in there. I'll get a nice big glob on and I'll rotate it so it doesn't drip. And then I'll put a nice big amount right on the top here like this and make sure it gets on the threads and around the eyes and all of it comes off of the bobbin. A little bit more. Go ahead and drip that on. Rotate it. Hit it with the light. <clears throat> a little bit more resin. So it takes the shape I want it to take. Tiny bit more on the bottom. And I'll leave that for a little bit. Let's 
that's good for that for now. Close up my resin. <clears throat> I'm going to turn the camera. You can see. Spread it out like that. Get the longest ones in the middle. And then when I cut this, I just go from the longest ones about there. Round it a little. I'm going to flip it over. And then I go right to the bottom of the hook point with these. That way there's nothing to snag on the hook later. And that's basically it. You can clean it up if you want, but that's basically the fly right there. Boom.